All right, this is the first tree in our backyard food forest orchard tour. Now, this tree is an Asian pear tree. It is a Shinsui Asian pear tree. It has gotten pretty, pretty tall as you can look up and see. And I love Asian pears. You're gonna see that theme when we uh, go around to see the tour of our food forest. Now, I got some sad news. If you look down, this right here was my Suri Asian pear tree. It died last year because of a uh, fire blight. And hopefully I don't have other trees dying, but you're gonna see another issue with the fire blight that I had to uh, cut the tree down a little bit, but I'm going to remove this and put another tree here. So if you have a uh, idea or suggestion how to deal with fire, fire blight, please let me know. All right, moving right along to the next tree. This is the uh, Reddy Robin. This is another Asian pear tree. I love the uh, Asian pear tree. And it's starting to bud out, coming a little closer so they can see all the uh, buds coming out of the uh, tree. You're gonna see that all throughout. Now over here, I tried to do something different last year to try to get another tree from this. It didn't work, so I'm gonna have to cut this uh, off when uh, I start pruning the rest of the trees. And I'm gonna be pruning real, real soon. I should've already done it. All right, moving right along over to the next tree. The next tree right here is the Fuyu persimmon tree. My daughter, she loves uh, Fuyu persimmons. My son does as well. So I went ahead, got the tree. This one actually fruited last year and I was able to get some fruit off there. So I'm excited to see how much fruit we get this year. All right, moving right along. All right, this right here is another new one. I got it, last, I think last year, the year before. This is a Korean giant, once again, it is an Asian pear tree. I love the way they taste. And it's a lot cheaper make it, buying my, um, getting my own here than going to the store paying four or five dollars. All right, so I can't wait to see if I will get any fruit from this tree. Now, moving right along. This Asian pear tree, now I think this is the Kikisui. I'm not too sure. The tag fell off at the uh, bottom. But as I did my research, looking through my orders, I think that's what this tree is. Now we had experienced some uh, fire blight. Hopefully it's not too bad. I already had the buds uh, cut some of the uh, limbs off. I had to prune it last year because of the uh, fire blight. All right, now I love this tree right here. I'm thinking I'm gonna get some fruit off this tree. This right here is my baby Crawford peach. It doesn't look like a, a baby, but it has grown and grown. I had pruned it last year and I did use the open center method. But if you look, this big branch, I wasn't paying attention last year. It grew massive because that was not there. And this next one right here was not there either. So I am going to prune it down somewhat, but I'm going to save these two because I'm going to try to do the chili dog method so I can get two trees from that. Let me know in the comments if you ever seen or uh, tried the chili dog method. All right, now the next one that I have, this peach tree is my second. I got three peach trees. You'll see the other one in a second. This right here is my contender peach. All right, so I heard a lot of great things about the contender peach, so I had to add it. Once again, I don't have my open center, so I may end up trying the chili dog these two as well when it gets a lot warmer so hopefully i can have more trees i don't know where i'm gonna put it but i'm gonna try it all right now this one right here i gotta have some uh, plums some plum trees this right here is the early golden asian plum and i'm gonna make my tags on this one as well some of my tags are already changed so that they when these fade off i already have my tags made out of uh, the aluminum cans and I'll put a link in the, uh, I'll not put the link, I'll put the link at the end of the video so that you can uh, learn how to make them if you don't know how to do it. All right, so like I said, these are already uh, blossoming. Hopefully we don't have any more uh, frost, but chances are we probably will, but that's the uh, first of my Asian uh, plums. Moving right along, we got a lot of trees back here. All right, this, tree right here this is my to toka asian plum now this one has some issues this right here i'm gonna cut this i'm gonna prune it off because when i first got it it 
did not uh, grow, it died off. I sent the uh, video picture and they gave me a, uh, another credit, but they said that it may, the side shoots may have, uh, maybe the actual plum tree, but I was like, can you assure me that? So they gave me another tree. That was the uh, tree that I got. Cause you got to have two of these uh, Asian uh, plum trees so that they can pollinate. Cause if you don't, you just have one, you just gonna have a tree no plums all right this next one right here hopefully it's gonna grow a lot a lot more in the uh coming months this right here is my beauty asian plum tree all right so i got three i got them not too far apart i want them to make sure that they pollinate one another so i can't wait this is the uh i think it's the darker red um variety of the uh, plum so i got three i can't wait to these to, for these to grow taller and taller so we can get some nice plums all right so we're gonna go on to the rest of the uh, tour all right this tree right here is my last peach tree it is the uh, avalon peach tree so we got lots of uh peaches now the peaches you don't really have to have more than once across uh pollinate but i'm pretty sure it's going to help so the peach trees for the most part, they self-pollinate themselves. If I'm, if I'm wrong, I'll correct myself, but that's why I got them at the beginning, but having more than one should help you as well. All right, the Yonashi Asian pear tree. This is my next one. Like I said, the Asian pears taste so good. Let me know in the comments if you like Asian pears. All right, this one broke my heart last year. We had a nice big one and I was getting ready to harvest it and some something came and harvested it for me so i did not get to taste this one off this uh tree broke my heart we did have some more another uh, tree that you're gonna see in a second we did get to uh taste it but i'm gonna be looking for this one right here to fruit even more and we're gonna be ready out here to get our actual fruit this time no critters are gonna get it this tree right here this breaks my heart every year now we already got it close this is my orange tree all right so i've been wrapping this orange tree if you look now it's starting to uh die out at the top i'm gonna go ahead and prune it back the tips are starting to uh go this tree has died out about two i think two years now all the way down to the uh, nub that i was coming back all right so hopefully this is the closest i've been Hopefully I will get this citrus tree on the uh, men and that it doesn't die out. We're gonna go ahead to the uh, next citrus tree. This, I had the same problem with this one as well. This is uh, my Meyer lemon. All right, so it has died back the same as this one, even though I wrap it. So it's starting to die out a little bit, but this is the closest I've been to getting them to the springtime. So hopefully I'm gonna pray about it and fingers crossed that they will survive and that we will be on our way to getting some uh, citrus all right this tree right here this is one of my apple trees this apple tree is the fuji apple i love eating fuji apples so instead of always going to the store once these things grow i'm gonna have fun eating them and not really spending that much money all right so i'm probably going to uh, prune this back a little bit but i don't too much mess with the uh, pruning on this if i got the uh limbs crossing over then i'll go ahead and i start to prune the next apple tree i'm almost stepping on my on my uh vegetables the next apple tree that i have is the honey crisp apple now i've heard that in south carolina that uh the people that i uh, follow they said they had a hard time growing the uh honey crisp app apple tree because they could not get any fruit. So I had already bought it before I start hearing that and it was right for our zone, so that they say, but I don't know if we got the right amount of chill hours for this to set fruit, but I will be watching because I will replace you if you don't produce any fruit. All right, over in this space, I used to have a pink lady. The fire blight destroyed the tree, so I had to get it up out of here so i will be looking to put a, a tree in its place this is a great time to start with uh, putting your uh, trees out now this tree right here i had to uh, trim this down this is the 
Arkansas black apple tree. I saw what it looks like. It's that dark, dark color. I said, hey, I can never get that in the store. So I might as well buy the tree and see if I can uh, get it to uh, grow. But the fire blight, um, last year I had to chop it down. Hopefully that that will be enough and that we will actually get a lot of growth. This tree right here, this is the uh, Ichiban Asian pear tree. All right, so as you can tell, I had to do a lot of, of cutting. I had to prune it down because fire blight hit this one. I don't know what is going on with the uh, fire blight. Hopefully I don't lose a lot more of my uh, Asian pear trees because that would be pretty, pretty sad. I want to taste all the different varieties. But if I notice that some varieties do better, then I'm gonna have to go buy more of those varieties and let go of some of these. All right, now this next one, this uh, tree that I have here, this is the yellow delicious apple. Now, the reason why I got the yellow delicious apple is because this tree pollinates just about every single apple tree. Now, I do eat these uh, actual apples, but they're not my favorite, but once they start setting fruit better believe i'm gonna eat these apples i'm not gonna let them go to waste but the main reason is i wanted them to be able to pollinate all my other apple trees all right so that's a win-win if you don't have one and you want to make sure that your apple trees are pollinated you may want to think about getting a uh, yellow delicious all right now this one right here i got my eyes on this one we actually got some fruit off this one but fire blight hit this one as well that fruit tasted so delicious this right here is my shinseki asian pear there you go asian pear they cost a lot but not back here once they start growing all right so now if you look pretty close i had to buzz cut this and now i got the uh, starting to peel i may need to uh put something on it i don't know if that's due to the uh, fire blight that with that I've had I may have to put that uh that paint or not it's not paint but that coating it's like a I forgot it's a white uh I don't know if it's called the uh clay but you put it all down the uh the base of the uh tree and that helps fight it from uh, cracking and getting insects all right so it's coming right there but the sides right here looks pretty uh nice so hopefully that this tree will survive because I gotta have my Asian pears in my uh, food forest. All right, now this is the uh, garden tour of my backyard. I have, I think 20 trees. If you saw any of the varieties that you may want to put in your backyard, I would say just go for it. And just remember these trees, we uh, get them growing right. They're gonna pro provide a lot of fruit for us and it's gonna save us in the wallet and it's gonna help you be healthy and strong. So consider growing your uh, fruit trees and do me a favor. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and I'll see you next time. All right, this is Bear Brown, have a great day, bye.